Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to discuss about gel filtration chromatography. The contents of this video includes introduction about gel filtration chromatography, phases in gel filtration chromatography, principle of gel filtration chromatography, steps in gel filtration chromatography, applications of gel filtration chromatography, advantages of gel filtration chromatography and finally limitations of gel filtration chromatography. Now first gel filtration chromatography. Gel filtration chromatography is a form of partition chromatography used to, to separate molecules to different molecular sizes. Gel filtration chromatography refers to the chromatography method which uses porous gel beads of specific porosity to isolate components depending upon their sizes. Uh, this gel filtration chromatography technique principally retains or excludes particles based on the size differences, hydrophobicity and molecular charges. Gel filtration chromatography is also known as gel permeation chromatography, gel exclusion chromatography, size exclusion chromatography and molecular C chromatography. And this gel filtration chromatography mainly helps in isolating the biomolecules like proteins, peptides and oligonucleotides. The term gel filtration chromatography was first coined by J.C. Moore of the Dow Chemical Company who researched the technique in 1964 and licensed the patented column technology to Water Corporation which commercialized it in 1964. Phases in gel filtration chromatography. There are two phases in gel filtration chromatography. They are mobile phase and stationary phase. The first phase is mobile phase. The solvent running through the column is the mobile phase. Firstly, one needs to dilute the test sample in an appropriate organic solvents. Then filter and pass the test sample through the column. The separation of the multi-component mixer takes place in the column. The second phase is stationary phase. The column packed with microporous gel beads act as the stationary phase. Hydroxypropylated sulfates, cross-linked polyacrylamide and agarose gel are the common support materials employed in gel filtration chromatography. Principle of Gel Filtration Chromatography The principle of gel filtration chromatography depends on the isolation of biomolecules relative to their different molecular weight or size differences. The gel filtration technique employs spherical gel beads with definite porosity as the packaging material in the chromatography column. The components in a liquid mixer pass through a column or porous gel beads where some molecules elute earlier or later through the column depending on the elution limit. The elution limit is a factor that decides a retention or exclusion of molecules through the packing material. Molecules that possess high molecular weight compared to the elution limit will elute early. In contrast, the molecules with low molecular weight or size than the elution limit will elute later. In this way, the particles are separated in the gel filtration chromatography. Steps in gel filtration chromatography. Spherical particles of gel filtration medium are packed into the column. The sample is applied to the column, buffer or mobile phase and samples move through the column and the molecule diffuse in and out of the pores of the matrix and also described as the partitioning of the samples between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. Smaller, smaller molecules move further into the matrix and so stay longer on the column. As buffer passes continuously through the column, molecules that are larger than the pores of the matrix are unable to diffuse into the pores and pass through the column. Smaller molecules diffuse into the pores and are delayed in the passage down the column and the separation occurs at different intervals which are followed by detection of compounds. 
applications of gel filtration chromatography. Gel filtration chromatography plays a key role in the purification of enzymes, polysaccharides, nucleic acids, proteins, and other biological macromolecules. Gel filtration chromatography is used principally for the analysis of a mixture of polymers with different molecular weights. Gel filtration chromatography can also be used to facilitate the refolding of denatured proteins by careful control of changing buffer conditions. Gel filtration chromatography is used in protein fractionation experiments and the gel filtration chromatography is used for the separation of sugars, proteins, peptides, rubbers and others on the basis of their size. Gel filtration chromatography can be used to determine the quaternary structure of purified proteins. The desalting is another application of gel filtration chromatography that involves the removal of salt from macromolecules. Gels of small size are suitable for such applications. Low lactose milk can be purified by the gel filtration chromatography technique. And finally, polysaccharides have been separated from sugars and proteins from low molecular weight substance can be separated by gel filtration chromatography. Advantages of gel filtration chromatography. Gel filtration chromatography can separate biomolecules which are sensitive to varying pH, temperature, and the concentration of metal ions, etc. Gel filtration chromatography takes minimal time to explicate the results. Gel filtration chromatography gives a well-defined separation, and in gel filtration chromatography, a small amount of test sample is enough to conclude the result. In gel filtration chromatography, separations can be performed in the presence of essential ions or cofactors, detergents, urea, guanidine hydrochloride at high or low ionic strength at 37 degrees Celsius, or in the cold room according to the requirement of the experiment. The other advantages of gel filtration chromatography includes well-defined separation, narrow bands and good sensitivity, there is no sample loss, the small amount of mobile phase required, the flow rate can be set. Finally, limitations of gel filtration chromatography. The limited number of peaks that can be resolved within a short time scale of the run is the first limitation. The second limitation is Filtration must be performed before using the instrument to prevent dust and other particulates from running the column and interfering with the detectors. And the third limitation is the molecular masses of the most of the chains will be too closer for the separation to show anything more than broad peaks. Dear viewers, that's all about the gel filtration chromatography. Thank you for your support. Thank you.